Okay, Melissa, so I'm interviewing you. I'm probably the last one of the night. And you're a repeat student, and uh, as half of the people are. And, um, you know, the main purpose of this interview is, uh, is, sort, is for me to find out how this maiden voyage of this course was. Yeah. And what worked for you and what didn't work for you. Uh, for me, one of my primary difficulties in taking photos is that I take a lot of photos and then they sit on my computer and I don't go through them. So having this situation where we're going and taking photos at a particular location and then going to another location the next week, I felt like I needed to go through those photos the best I could in that week's time frame so that I wouldn't get behind. For me, that was a huge, huge help being able to do that and then also posting them on the Facebook page and seeing what people's responses were to those photos was very helpful for me also. Mm -hmm. So uh, having that, that feedback and then that also sort of worked for how I approached the next class. So I, I would say that definitely a good thing to do would be having people present their photos before the next session. Because I think if, if you have where you take all four sessions and nobody, you don't get any feedback between that, then you're not sure what you should be doing differently like you're, for the growth aspect of it. But I did post them week after week and I did feel growth from that. And I do think that the photos that I took at the end were probably better than the ones I took at the beginning. Mine too. <laughs> Henry Cartier Bresson said your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think the ones, the ones more towards the end were better photographs. And then also, some locations are better than others. I yeah. mean, just just the way people are being, um, Brooklyn Bridge, people are moving, 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 which is one type of photograph. The High Line, people are just hanging out. Uh, Washington Square Park, they're hanging out. Uh, Staten Island Ferry, they're commuting, so they're tired and coming home from work. Or tired, tours, weary. You know? Yeah. It's a completely different set of set of photographs, set of emotions that you get out of it, which is interesting. But each one is different. Uh, what you what what didn't work? What would you change? Uh, you know, having a class that is eight weeks is definitely like bam, you're getting it done pretty quickly. I I also though kind of like to it quickly. I like having those deadlines, for me having deadlines is very important and something that I haven't had necessarily in my artistic career that much where I have, a, have deadlines and having that helps. That, the deadline part of it helps for me quite a bit. And then this, the show is an absolute deadline, like got it printed out and on the walls, so good deadline. And that, being able to produce work where you know you have something that's happening people are going to see it and you need to produce something. It's very helpful. I like that. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll, we'll have to do this again. Yes. Yes. <laughs>